everybody, it's Amy, and um, today I have a haul video. Actually, I'm going to have multiple haul videos for, um, I have a die, dies that I hauled that I'll share in this video, an AC Moore haul for this video. I have a Michaels haul and a, and a really nice Target haul too. I'm so happy with what I found at Target. So this one will do um, kind of like new dies that I've picked up recently to add to my collection. And, um, you know, some a couple of cute things from AC Moore too. So here, here, oopsie, oopsie, knocking stuff over. So here's, um, I like my die haul, and I'll start with this. This, um, I picked up these Cinch and Go flower dies. Now, you, if you watch my couple earlier videos, I had made some really pretty flowers with the Cinch, uh, what is this, Cinch and Go poinsettia or a pinched poinsettia, something like that. And I really, I loved it, and I, and I had picked that up for the holidays. And I already had in my collection this Cinch and Go flower dye. I think this one is Cinch and Go Flowers 3. And it's gorgeous. It makes beautiful, beautiful flowers that, you know, have the heart-shaped petals. Love it. Love the dye. So I had enjoyed working with these, making flowers with these two dyes so much, I went ahead and I bought, um, you know, the other Cinch and Go flower dyes. This is just, um, this one is Cinch and Go Flowers, and it makes um, these pretty flowers. And then you can get like little extras, you get like the swirls, and um, you know, and then it's really well thought out because these four flowers here will make a nice kind of flower. Um, you just need these four. But if you want to really go big time and make a big flower, you have two more that you can add on to your flower, you know. And then it has, I forget what this is called, is that called the Calyx? I think that's called the Calyx, so. Um, so yeah, great set, and it looks like, you know, when you look at the little flowers here, that's like the bigger flower, and then you can make like a little buttercup looking flower with this. So love that. And then, um, I picked, also picked up, um, Cinch and Go Flowers 2. And this one makes these gorgeous flowers as well. Um, it's called Cinch and Go Flowers 2, and I guess it's part of a Venice lace collection. And the, what's really also amazing about this one are the leaves. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous stitched, you know, stitched kind of uh, um, effect on the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? And so, and then here's trying to show you closely what the flowers and the leaves look like on, on the project they have here. So yeah, so I think I've completed my collection for what's available so far for the Cinch and Go flowers. And then um, Amy Vitriani, um, she did a, she posted on Instagram, she used this dye, the conversation, or I think it's called Candy Hearts by Lawn Fawn. Yeah, Candy Hearts. Adorable, absolutely adorable. So um, I messaged her, she said, oh, that's a Lawn Fawn dye. So I picked it up and I can't wait to create with it. And um, look, they, I got this from an eBay seller and she, um, and close, she, Really cute. She enclosed a little paper clip with a gingerbread that she made. This is a Lawn Fawn die set that I have but haven't used yet. Adorable. And then on her, she wrote a nice little note here. And basically she's saying she has a Facebook group and, you know, we're welcome to join. So the group name on Facebook is Scrapbooking on the Go. And I haven't joined yet, but I'm going to head over there and, um, you know, join that group. It look, sounds fun and you should too if you want to do that. And then I also want, I hauled this um, Bear Hugs Dye, it's Essentials by Ellen, um, at ellenhudson.com. Cute, cute dye. And um, I actually purchased this a couple weeks back. The dyes are a collective haul. I think I got it way before Christmas. And I know McCool, Nicole McGorick showed an amazing project, um, you know, that she made. She made a lot of cute bears with this dye. So I was happy to have that. Um, I had picked up this dye from an eBay seller. It is a new Caitlin Lazardi dye. Um, it's called, let's see, it's called Bows Mix and Match. And this is a super sweet little dye set to make cute little bows. Um, I picked this up from Amazon. It is the Paper Smooches Linked Heart Dyes. Ellen Hudson was having sort of a clearance sale, so I picked up this Poppy Stamps Small Chickadee dye. Isn't it cute? And I picked up the plush songbird dye as well. Um, they were on super clearance. I think I might have spent like seven dollars for these two dyes or something like that. It's not bad at all. Um, and they're really cute. Okay, now this dye 
I love this die, but you know, you can't buy everything, right? So it's holding off on pulling the trigger on this die. And now it's getting very hard to find. And so I don't know if it, I don't know if they'll bring it back or what the situation is. So I wanted to go ahead and get it. And I purchased this off of scrapbook.com. It's called the Charming Cottage Box by Spellbinders. It's adorable. And um, so, yeah, so I did buy it. When I bought it at scrapbook.com, I either got the last one or there might have been one left. So if you want that, you should look in and kind of pick it up now. Um, I also finally bought this Spellbinders die off of Amazon. It's the Lace Hearts. This is an amazing die. I don't know why I haven't picked it up until now, but I'm kind of stocking up for Valentine's Day, so I wanted to go ahead and get it. And then I also picked up from Amazon the Hem Stitch die series. Um, these are gorgeous, gorgeous. And I saw Marilyn use uh, these on a project too. And I was like, oh my God, what gorgeous dies. So I went ahead and picked up the oval, the, the hem stitch circles, and the um, rectangles. I think they do a square too, but I'll have to pick that one up later. And let's see. And then everybody was following how they got this die. Um, I think it was from the LDRS site on clearance for like ridiculously cheap. I missed out. You know, I saw a couple, a lot of folks who were very lucky you picked it up and good, you know, that's great. I'm so happy for you. But I didn't get it for that price. So, um, but it's really pretty and I liked when people were um, showing it. And then um, I know Happy Mail Queen did a project with it. So I said, oh, you know, so I, I found the complete set for this, um, uh, I guess it's called the gilded doily set so I found the complete set on HSN and I went ahead and purchased it so it has the two embossing folders and let me take those out for you so it has the doily and then the complete set has these really pretty embossing folders in case you want to check it out on HSN and this one and then they had the three label label die set this is really cute. Really, really pretty, see? This is a gorgeous little set. And that's what the dies look like. And then the set also included the um, butterflies. And they're adorable and you get the butterfly and the backers. So I like, I really like that. And then it also included um, the dragonflies. The key, and one of the dragonflies, it says key tail dragonflies, because one of the dragonflies has a key for a tail. It's so cute. And I like that they have the backer piece as well. So that's the, um, I forget if I showed the back of the butterflies, but those are the back of those too. And then finally for my die haul, I picked up some more dies from What Fun Is This on eBay. I picked up the Echo Park Heart Pocket. Um, super duper cute. This is how the die cuts. So you can make like kind of heart pockets really quick and easy. And it's a good size too. So like loving that die. And then I also picked up um, this die, which is the bow creative flower. And it does look like a pretty um, flower bow. So yes, yeah, so I wanted to pick that up and add that to my collection as well. So, um, oh, and then let me show you one other thing. I did cut out with the hem stitch, hem stitch stitched oval die. From Spellbinders, I cut out this so you can get a sample of just how pretty that die is. Super gorgeous. Okay, so moving on, let me share with you my AC Moore haul. Um, I had picked up some really pretty glitters from AC Moore. Um, they had the, isn't this gorgeous? This is the, like a rose gold color glitter. So I picked that up and this is, and I picked it up in the larger, chunkier glitter and a little bit finer glitter. I was like, wow, beautiful. And then I also picked up at AC Moore the um, confetti glitter with the hearts. Super cute. And Ida created to create. She did an AC Moore haul and she was showing how she picked up the aqua glitter. And she had been on the hunt for the aqua glitter from at AC Moore. And I thought, oh wow, I didn't even realize they make aqua glitter. So thanks for the tip, Ida. I picked one up for my AC Moore too. And also got at AC more these really cute pom-poms. Uh, they're yarn pom-poms as opposed to like kind of the fluffy pom-poms. So, and they're just, um, you know, they have different sizes and they're bright and clean. And so I was, thought those were super cute. And I picked up a pack of those. And then I picked up um, some blings. Now I don't have much purple in, 
in my paper collections. Um, maybe these will go, I think these will go with, um, I do have Moonchild by Frank Garcia. I have some of that left. So I think these pretty rhinestones and pearls will go with that. And I also think they might go with some of my doodle book papers. So those are the Studio G and they're really pretty from AC Moore. And then AC Moore had Chanel stems and they had them in the rose gold, gold and silver. So I picked up a package of those. And also at AC Moore, I wanted to pick up some more embroidery floss in um, Valentine's colors. Um, and then this one's a glittery one. Really pretty, right? Because I um, wanted to use them. I like doing my stitch. I, not stitch. Well, you can use them for stitching, too. But I like doing my little um, tassel bows and um, tassels um, charm things that I made. I have a tutorial on them using my bow at all. Because I think that the little um, embroidery floss bows and tassels make a cute accent on um, tags and rosettes and that sort of thing. So I bought some Valentine's colors to work with. I also picked up at AC Moore some jammies. I got the Love Nicole. I got the Red Heart outlines. I got these very pretty, I love these. I love AC Moore gems. I got the very pretty pink um, faceted gems. Gorgeous. And I got, they had um, heart, pearl hearts. So I got those. They had the faceted gems in like the holographic colors, also gorgeous. So I picked up those. And then I just picked up the three millimeter rhinestones in red. And let's see, what else? Oh, and I got, um, I also got from AC Moore just a, you know, a sheet of the foam, pink foam glitter paper. So yeah, so that's my new, latest dies that I've hauled. And um, I, do, I did order a couple more dies, so, um, that, but I haven't received those yet. And, um, yeah, so that's my AC Moore and Die Haul, and I'll be back with Target, and I have Michaels, too. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye!